going to go over the steps on how to replace an outdoor outlet and what's required now is a GFCI that's rated for outdoor use and what you're looking for is something that's marked WR for weather resistant. So the first step is we're going to turn the electric off, either shut off the breaker or remove the fuse and we're just going to double check the outlet and the electricity is off and so the first thing we're going to do is remove the cover plate and actually this type of cover plate is no longer allowed either and I'll provide a link to the type of cover that's actually rated for outdoor use now and we'll show a video on that also but remove your cover and in this case too you can see how this is open this really should have been caulked in place uh, when you're outside and so now what we'll do is we'll remove the old outlet I pulled out the old outlet and it has one cable coming in with two wires and we have a hot wire which is actually blue and a white neutral wire and because we're in the Chicago area we have metal boxes with metal conduit going all the way back to the service panel so in many applications they don't use a green ground wire because when you screw the metal screws into the box it's actually grounded but in this case I'm going to add a grounding whip and you can get this at any hardware store and I'm going to screw this into the back of the metal box and that'll give us some added protection. So now I'm just going to disconnect these two wires. So I screwed in the ground wire to the metal box and I made sure we have a nice hook on each wire and you want to strip away about three quarters of an inch of insulation on your wires. And now since there's one cable coming into the box, one hot and one neutral, we're going to just be using the line side. On a GFCI you're going to have a line side and a load side and most manufacturers are going to put tape over the load side. If we had another cable coming into the box going on to other outlets, you would be connecting those wires to the load side. So in this case, we're just going to take the hot wire, which is our blue, and we're going to connect it to the black screw. Now on a GFCI, it's either going to be black or brass, your hot side. So we're going to connect this on this screw terminal, and we want that hook in the clockwise direction. So as we screw down the screw terminal, it's going to tighten on the screw rather than pushing it off. And then on the other side, you're going to have a silver screw, and the silver is going to be your neutral. And we're going to make sure that's in a clockwise direction also. Just tighten that down, and now we're going to put our green around the green screw turn. So that's all there is if you have a single cable coming into your box. Now what I'm going to do is grab a little bit of electrical tape and wrap it around the outlet. Since we're in the Chicago area and we have metal boxes, I'm just going to take some electrical tape and I'm just going to cover up the screw terminals. And this is just to protect somebody in the future. If they were to work on this outlet and not turn off the electric, they actually could run that hot wire against the metal box. So that's all there is to it. I'm going to push the wires back in and screw it in place, and then we're going to put the proper type of outlet cover on this for outdoor use. So I'll put a link on the video here so that you can see that also. So I put the outlet in the box, and I turned the electric on, and before we put the cover on, I'm just going to check the outlet to make sure it's working properly, and you want to press the reset button and in this model we have a little LED light that shows it's on and once a month you actually want to test it by pressing the test button and making sure that it, the electricity goes off on the outlet and the beauty of a GFCI is that it'll turn off in a fraction of a second if it detects any fluctuations in electric to prevent a shock so if you're looking to replace any of your outdoor outlets replace them with a GFCI